Americans realize that this is a crisis. So what do we do about this? Well, you know, there, there are a couple of options. One would be to say you can't use the word news if you're offering opinion. That's going to be a tough one. Another would be to break up the big media conglomerates. Back in 1996, when Clinton signed the Telecommunications Act of 96, it, it removed the ownership caps. It used to be you couldn't own more than a handful of radio or television stations. You couldn't own both radio, TV, and newspapers all in the same market. I mean, there were all these limitations on ownership. And those all went away in 1996. We should bring those back. We should break, back, break up some of these giant, giant media empires. And that would bring a diversity of voices, particularly to small town America, where these radio stations owned by these you know, right-wing billionaires and giant conglomerates uh, live. So, you know, that's a start. Also, Finland has this very unique approach. They are requiring media literacy classes in, in primary and secondary schools. We should do the same thing here. I realize, you know, hey, we can't even teach American history or sex ed without right-wingers showing up with guns at, at school board meetings. I get that. But we, you know, screw them. We need to do this anyway. This country is in a crisis. So those are, those are two things. Uh, the third that I, I recommend in my, in my article is that the Biden administration start enforcing laws that are on the books. The Sherman Act, the Clayton, Clayton Act, the Sherman Antitrust Act of uh, 1891, the Clayton Antitrust Act of, I think, 1927, the, uh, the Antitrust, the Anti-Monopoly Act of 1957, as I recall, it might be 56, those are the three major pieces of anti-monopoly legislation that Ronald Reagan put on hold in 1983 when he directed the Securities and Exchange Commission and the Justice, uh, Justice Department to basically stop enforcing the antitrust laws, which led to this explosion of mergers and acquisitions across every sector of American industry, which is why we're being you know, basically robbed and pillaged by American corporations right now, jacking up prices, reducing portions, all that kind of stuff. So those are my suggestions. If you have any additional ideas, I would love to hear them. But those are my suggestions. We've got to do something about our media. Because you cannot have a functioning republic if the populace is not well informed. I have no problem with media outlets that are spouting BS and lies and you know, right-wing stuff. As long as there is a, you know, a, a media ecosystem that provides good, honest, truthful, factual information. But, you know, we've, we've got a real challenge here. This is the Tom Hartman Program. And I, and I see nothing on the left to compare with the right's embrace of these bizarre fantasies like the 2020 election. Nothing like that on the left.